What's good everybody? My name is Alchemy. Welcome to the channel. I don't even care if you subscribe. Liking the video always helps. Today we are going to be talking about an abstract concept of base design which follows the idea of replicating a sampler when playing at different pitches but with different effects. So let me go ahead and explain while you hit that like button. Uh, basically whenever you play something, kind of like that, whenever you change the pitch of a traditional sampler as it plays at a higher note it's going to seem like it's being replicated at a faster rate. And so we can take this idea of this cool movement thing that follows along with pitch by using something like key tracking, in which case we will use the note feature of this guy. So whenever you are thinking about doing something like this, the idea of artificial reeses are that we can replicate that same movement speed or that same kind of pattern, but we can do it with different effects. We can do it with just about any type of thing that you can really imagine. So for example, we can do something maybe along the lines of FM. So we've got the same bass that I just printed, which sounds like this. And if I were to add some FM to this, then it's actually now becoming more gritty. And if we increase that by a harmonic here, I'm going to show you a couple different examples, by the way, but then it's starting to become more noticeable. So what we can do is we can actually add an LFO here to control the movement of this, and then we can set the speed of this based off of the note that we play. Now we need to set a root note here, which I am just playing D sharp zero or E flat zero, and then we can set this to be on a range of like 24, so two octaves. And so now whenever I play this at its root note, it's going to be playing at the one uh, hertz speed. But whenever we key track this or we pitch bend this, then we can actually replicate that same movement pattern of a traditional sampler. Now this is just one thing that we can do, but from having this setup, we can apply this to different effects as well. So we can use this on a notch filter per se, maybe somewhere around the low mid region. We can also apply this to something like sync just for the sake of demonstration. Or we can even apply this to other things such as like bigger filters or things that have much more impact on movement. Uh, maybe we can even use a different kind of distortion, say something like saturation. And we can actually use the bias here to kind of control this. So take a listen to this. Wow, uh, maybe a limiter would be good for uh, both of us so that way we don't go blind or deaf. <clears throat> but you can see that by flipping in between that, I'm going to pull this back a little bit because that was such a big drive, that by playing on this, we can actually do the same thing here. Or by using a different filter, perhaps, maybe like a low pass, we can, again, just map this to all different kinds of things. Now, as a basis, this is only just a regular LFO, but you can actually set a multi-stage envelope with this if you wanted to. So you can design your own kind of complex patterns and stuff, kind of like so, where you're doing something along the lines of this. Doesn't doesn't really matter. But again, it's taking the idea of that sampler style Reese and artificially changing the speed of certain parameters. And the reason why I say it's artificial is because we're actually applying that same principle to different aspects of movement, whether it be with effects or wave shaping in the sense of sync or distortion or FM, XYZ, in order to get a similar feel. So with all that knowledge in mind, I challenge you to go and make some really cool reeses on your own and see how you can make these interesting artificial reeses because once you actually take this movement that we're replicating and you throw it into a sampler here, it's only going to accentuate the types of movements that we're getting. So thank you all so much. If you are interested in more information, then you can check out my base master classes on the Arcana memberships and stuff. But other than that, go have fun and I don't know if you do something cool, show me in the Discord.